Welcome to the Venn Diagrams. And you know what we're going to do today is we're going to look at questions that are called Venn Diagram questions. Now, Venn was the last name of a famous mathematician. His name was John Venn. And what he did was he created this idea or this way to show how to solve questions that are like this, like I'm going to show you. Basically, he said, if you've got this this set of people, or if you've got this group of things, and some of them have one characteristic, and some have another, and some have both characteristics, then you can actually answer it this way. So let's look at what I mean by characteristics. Characteristics means like you have a socks that are blue, or socks that are red, or you can have both. You can have socks that are both red and blue. All right, and he said, you know what, we can demonstrate this or we can show this using pictures. And now what we do all over the world is we call these Venn diagrams. So let's look at a question and you'll see why this is considered a Venn diagram question. So here's the question. Dadja's cat had 10 kittens. All of the kittens have either black fur, white fur, or both. If eight kittens have black fur and six kittens have white fur, how many kittens have both black and white fur? And then this question asks, how many kittens are only black and how many kittens are only white? All right, so if you notice, let's first of all look at the questions so you know how to identify the questions. You have Daja who has 10 kittens. So you will know that there's only 10 kittens. In, and we're going to call that a, the, the kitten universe, all right? Usually the universe has stars and it has a moons and it has planets in it. But in this case, we're going to say the universe is Daja's kitten kittens. So that's the first idea you need to have. And in fact, we're going to show that with a universe that's a, a rectangular universe. All right. And this one is just Dadja's kittens. Nothing else, no other kittens anywhere in the world. That's that universe. Then from there, the way you can recognize it is that you have some kittens that have this and then some kittens that have that and some who have both. And when you see that language there, then you know, oh, I can organize this or I can put it down using a Venn diagram. So let's look at what a Venn diagram is. The very first thing is, what I mentioned, is that you have a universe. And that universe is the kittens. So now what you want to do is draw this out, use a ruler. I've already drawn it so it's faster for you. But when you're on your page, don't just do it with your hands and, and draw it. Use your straight edge, doesn't matter what type of straight edge, it looks much neater, it's much easier to look at afterwards for yourself, and you know how to use straight edges, so why wouldn't you, okay? Now, first thing you do after you do that is you write the total. So the total number of kittens in this case is 10, and that's the universe. Only 10 kittens are in that whole universe. And then the next thing is it says some kittens have black fur and some have white fur. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a circle here. And this one will be all the kittens. Like so you can have little kittens in here. And I'm not very good at drawing, but you would have all the kittens with black fur. And so this would be black. And it says that there are... Um, Eight kittens have black fur, so you draw that out. Now, notice how I have put a title for this, and there would be eight of these kittens in here. Then you have some kittens who have white fur, and you draw another circle, and they're going to go in this circle here, and that is, it says six kittens have white fur, so I'm going to write that down, six white. I write this down so I don't forget which one is black and which one is white. And you also know if you need to go back which one was black and which one was white. Now, what do you do? Well, you've got eight that goes in this circle, six that goes here. Now, 
watch what happens. If you add 8 plus 6, let's write that out right here, 8 plus 6, what you get is 14 kittens. But how many kittens total were there? 10. Hmm. So what's happened here? There's something cool, something really neat that's happened. And that is, like there aren't 14 kittens, but it looks like there might be. But in fact, some of them have both black and white, so they're overlapped, all right? And they're included in the white circle and in the black circle. So where would they be included? If we were going to draw those kittens that had both white and black, these kittens would only have white. Actually, let's do those kittens as yellow kittens, but that would be white. So these kittens are only white, and these kittens are only black. So where would they be so that they are both black and white? They'd have to be here because they have some white in it from this circle and black from this circle. So some of the kittens have both black and white. And how many of those kittens? It says, how many kittens have black and white? Oh, you don't know. So you have to figure that out. Notice that there were 14 had that, it looks like eight plus six is 14. So that's four more than 10. That would mean that four are counted twice. They're counted in the white one and they're counted in the black. So we want to put four kittens in here. And you can, when you first do this, you can draw them out but that helps you see there's four. What's even better is you write that number four. So you've got four kittens here. Now if four kittens are here and there's supposed to be a total of eight in the black, you've already, I've drawn one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need to do a couple more. Seven, eight. And that means one, two, three, four, five are here. And one, two, three, four, whoa, wait a minute, this doesn't add up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I didn't, I drew too many, so let's take that out. Okay, so now we've got one, two, three, four from here, and we have that number four. Four plus what equals eight? Well, you know that's four, and yes, there are four here. So you've got four that are just black, four that have black and white in it. Four plus four equals eight. Now, for the six white, you've already got six included, or four that's included in here. So how many would go in here? Well, four, five, six. And you can think about this as six minus four, which is equal to two. So you've got two there, and you've got four there. Now, the question asks, so first of all, that's how you figure it out. You can draw them out if you want. If you don't need to draw them, that's even better. So try not to draw them. Just think about the numbers and just put the numbers in there. The first time you do this, you can draw them out. After that, though, you're just going to be asked just to put numbers in and you won't be drawing them out. Okay, so you've got four, four, and two. So the questions are, how many kittens have both black and white fur? Well, these are the ones that have both all in here. So let's do this both. And there were four. So we will write over here, I will write, four kittens have both black and white fur as my final sentence answer. Then the next question says, how many kittens are only black? So I look in here, these kittens are black and white. These are only black. And there are four of them, so I will write four kittens over here have only black fur. And then for how many kittens are only white, right away you should see that that's two. All of these have white in them. These have both white and black. These are the ones left with only white, so there are two. And I will write that down here. Two kittens have only white fur. 
Okay, so I hope you have fun with these. Lots of kids love to make up questions to do with this too and make up their own questions. And, um, and then you can see what you can do with this. And it's not only animals, but it could be so many different things that you can do. Have fun, thanks.